long. <coughs> well, I'm reading this. So, I like to read this. Because I have to. <laughs> For Bob the Believer, Mr. Lane asked everyone in class to write and report on a... Write an, a report on a favorite carrier. Willa grinned. She knew exactly what she wanted to be. She grew up. Willa wanted to be a fairy princess. I don't think that's what Mr. Lane had in mind. Her father said, I've never met a fairy princess. Her mother, oh, sorry. I've never met a fairy princess. Her mother remarked, what exactly do they do? Lots of things, Willa replied. But mostly, they make good things happen. You'll see. Willa already knew, knew quite a bit about fairy princesses. She knew all about the fair, fairy list dresses they wore. She knew about fairy dust and magic wands. Writing her report would be, cr be a cringe. She stretched in her dress-up box for something to wear. She found an old tutu. She cut out lots and lots of stars. She made a pair of wings. She selected a perfect wand. She filled a stack with fairy dust. And that's actually dirt. <coughs> Are you sure you have everything you need? Willa's father wondered. Are you ready? Her mother asked. Willa nodded. Like all fairy princesses, Willa was ready for anything. The bus driver shook his head when he saw Willa. Sorry, he said, no flying creatures allowed on my bus. Willa's wings rode in the front of the bus. The rest of her, her rode in the back. Look at her right now. Look at her, look at all friends normal dressing look at this her color oh mr lane listened while willa explained that she was learning about her job hand first hand that didn't keep him from Suggesting that didn't keep three times. That Willa put her wand away. It disappeared into his desk drawer. Mr. Beaner, Miss Beaner, wasn't sure Willa should wear her fairy princess outfit for Jim. Just watch, Willa told her. My leaps will be higher than ever. Luckily, Miss Beamer was looking the other way when Willa landed. At recess, Willa and her best friend, Jenny, were chased by a monster. Help, it's getting closer. Jenny cried barely. 
inches ahead from Sherman. Her little brother, I'll make I'll make us invisible, Willa said. Then we'll then it won't be available available to chase us. Willa mumbled a few magic words. She tossed some fairy dust into the air. Hey, cried Jenny. Why did you throw dirt in my hair? You don't know much about fairy dust, do you? Willa snouted. I snorted. Snorted. I know one thing, Jenny said. You've taken the fairy princess thing too far. Jenny played with Doran. Doran, the rest of the race. But I need this much. Being a fairy princess was turning out to be harder than Willa had imagined. She'd made only bad things happen all day. She'd even imagined to lose her best friend. The whispers and sideways glance finally got her got to her. During spelling, she blurred out, "I I may not be much of a fairy princess yet." But just wait, I've got what it takes, I'll show you. Mr. Lane showed Willa to be the thinking chair. She stayed there until the bell rang. Homework, math, quiz, spelling, page, pages three plus three. Willa kept on thinking all the way home. Maybe she'd been wrong. Maybe being a fairy princess wasn't the job for her. She was deep. He was darted in front of her. He was chasing a ball and it was headed for the street. It was lucky, a lucky thing that a little red wagon blocked Sherman away. It was not such a luck, lucky thing that the wagon and Sherman called, collide. Collide. The wagon became began to roll down the hill. Waving her magic wand, Willa flew after it. She dodged a planter of petunias, Le leaped over a toy truck, leaped over a toy truck, truck, and narrowed narrowly. Avoided a trash can. The wagon <coughs> just in time. Willa sparkled fairy dust on Sherman. She receded a magic spell. Willa sparked. Oh. It worked. Sherman was. It worked. Sherman was okay. The next morning, Willow wondered why Jenny wasn't on the bus. She wondered why she wasn't on the playground. Mr. Lane had already taken attention, attention when Jenny walked into the classroom. She was followed by Sherman and their parents, who were carrying a cake. Carrying a cake with the words thank you willa written by pink icing on the top
Willow was even more surprised when her own parents came into the classroom. News, news travels fast. Willow's mother explained almost as fast as it, the fairy princess who made it, that darting rescue. Her father said, that was no fairy princess, Daddy. That was me. Insisted. Insisted. Of course, it was agreed. Her parents, while everyone stacked on cake, snacked on cake, Willa and Sherman told the class about their adventure. I guess you had what it takes to be a fairy princess. All along, maybe one thing she placed a gold crown on Willa's head. Willa grinned her biggest grin. You sh sure showed us, Willa. Good job, Mr. Lane said. Ashley, Willa corrected him. Being a fairy princess is a wonderful job. The Life of a Fairy Princess by Willa. Okay. Sure. So it's pretty good, but I really don't really like pink. Well, I used to. My, my bedroom um, color wall was pink, and I really liked butterflies, but I was still with butterflies in this book. But at least there's stars in the front page. Written. This was pretty cool. Cool book, and I saw it. I already knew it was her dad because when because it over here, right there, has brown color. So I know that is her dad. Even. The students were in the classroom and someone was brown already, like that one. But I already knew this was the dad. So that's it. Comment down below if you want more stories or anything. I will try to make it as fast as I can. Bye-bye.